Okay, I gotta warn you, it is uh, very windy. We're under another wind advisory today. But we told you guys we're gonna show you what we do to prevent the ticks and the fleas and all the other external parasites on our animals today. First, I got a little surprise to show you in the shop. We're always showing surprises here and there and everywhere. The wind is no surprise to us, so. But anyways, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Let the light change around. So you guys remember the goose eggs we had in the incubator? Well, guess what? There is the first one that hatched. It took me a minute to find him. You know, they're a little, little uh, goose. So that's the first one. We have another one that's starting to pip. Let's go take a look at it to see if it's made any progress. So we still got the goose pen set up. We're supposed to get those Cayuga ducks this week. So they'll go in there eventually when they're big enough. My welder quit working. That thing's trash now. So we got another one in here. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Let me see if I can get it zoomed in here. Right there. The little uh, goose is starting to pip the egg. And you can see the other one already hatched right here. It's hard to see through this incubator, I know. But anyway, so hopefully we'll have a couple more uh, geese. We got one, I can hear that one talking to me. So uh, here in a minute, what we're gonna do is, guys, we're gonna go, first we're gonna get the dogs. We're going to give them the Brovecto, Brovecto pills, which is always a challenge. You know, dogs usually love to eat treats and stuff, but anytime you got medicine or something like that, sometimes it can be a struggle. So we'll probably grab some cheese, some hot dogs, and stuff like that, and I'll have Rachel come help me. We purposely did not feed uh, Liesky and Cora this morning or Mojo, so hopefully they'll be a little bit more hungry. And uh, it's almost it's almost uh, noon, so they should be hungry. So hopefully they will uh, go ahead and eat these uh, Brevecto chew tablets or whatever you want to call them up, because I've already noticed some ticks on Cora. And, uh, you know, that's not good. We'll talk about a little bit more about that here in just a minute. But let's, let's go grab Rachel and uh, get those Brevecto pills. All right. So we got Rachel. Don't let me forget the Brevecto pills. So Rachel is uh, slipping on her new model of uh, high C boots, guys. These are a thicker model they just come out with. We wanted to share with you guys. I've got a pair on here as well. So they got all kinds of colors. I'm wearing the brown. Um, Rachel's wearing the pink. But they actually have camo. They got all different kinds of colors on uh, Amazon. <laughs> and anytime we're coming out and doing work out on the farm, we hate running our good shoes and stuff. So these high shoe, high C boots are awesome. High shoe boots. They keep our uh, <laughs> they keep our feet dry and they're comfortable. We wear them all day. And after we're done doing all the chores with the animals, we're gonna be moving to the garden. So Caleb and Kaya's got their high C boots as well. They love wearing them. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, I will share a link in the description below. You guys can click on that, go to Amazon and purchase them. And I also have a uh, coupon code where you guys can save, I believe it's 10%. I'll put that down in the description as well. Ooh, it's windy. It is windy. So let's take a look at these boots one more time. What do you think of them? I love them. This is a new model. These these are taller than the chicken ones that I have. Right, they have, These are a, they have a lot of different ones, but this particular model just came out in March and they're a little bit thicker than the older ones. So they are actually a little bit more insulated. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out High C Boots. They are, uh, they are awesome boots. They're awesome boots and they're about half, at least half price. Of the name brand. Than the other name brand boots. I won't mention no names, but yeah. I'm, I'm walking off and forgetting the Brevecto pills. So I just noticed Kai's out at the pond. She's hunting frogs. Frog time. <laughs> no snakes, hopefully. All right, so uh, we're gonna do the Brevecto on the dogs and then after we're done with the dogs and the cats, we'll show you what we do with the goats. But what is our choice gonna be today? Are we gonna do the cheese or are we gonna do the hot dogs? What do you wanna try? I might just eat the Brevecto chew tablets. I say we try it without any of that. I'll grab a couple hot dogs real quick, just to see. Never know. You want to go first? He said, okay, I'll go first. Here, he I'll said, you, I would uh, like some cheese. You like cheese on yours? We got a bag of hot dogs all cut up. I don't know if these will fit on there. I can't remember how big they are. It's kind of hard to open. Hey, 
<laughs> okay, Bubba. He's he, like, he hurry can't wait up. He's his lips. Okay, I'm gonna try it without. Well, let's make sure he eats it. Hey, give me that. Where are you going? Dropped it right there. He's eating it. He's like, why are you filming me, Dad? If you're gonna eat it, eat it. Isn't that good? It'll help to keep them ticks off of you. Oh, he ate it. Alright. Did you eat it? Yep, okay. He ate it. Now piece I of cheese. He likes cheese. Wash it down with a piece of cheese. Cheese? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. got a job, Skeeter. Alright, let's see if the boy. other ones go this easy. Okay. Now I don't know about the puppy because yeah, we've never have... even given her a treat yet. Nope. She's strictly been on. You know, we might put it in a little. If she don't like this. She'll like it. Let's go. She'll like it. If she, do if she doesn't like it in this kind of stuff, I was going to say we could put it in a little bit of a, the canned food that she's used yeah, to. Yeah, but then you can't tell if she eats it. Well. Cora. Here she comes. Leesky. So it's a little bit warm today. Some of the goats are in the shade. I don't know where Leesky's at. He's gone. You ready to try a new thing? I know you, got, you had a few ticks on you. They're attacking you. Yeah. Okay, let me so let me see if I can see some of these ticks. I seen one on the eye yesterday that I got. And then I seen her scratching this morning. Oh. Baby. Come here, Skeet. Come here, come here Cora. Please. You're probably sound asleep in the barn, Bill. Well, let's, let's get her to eat hers first. Half the goats are gone, too. Come okay, here, Cora. where's your... Oh. <laughs> All right, so the puppy one is a... Uh, let me see. It is a one month. Oh, goodness. The adult dogs are actually uh, three months. Good for three months. She said, are you? All right. Let me open it. Well. She said, hurry up. I'm hungry. Yeah, you're going to have to open it. Right. Let me have the camera. I'm not as coordinated with the... She said, shoot ya. I'll take that. So that was no problem. She oh, nope. nope. It's, she didn't eat it. You got little pieces on the ground too. Let me see that cheese. I think she wants to eat it, but she took puppies. They have to learn a little bit how to eat. Yep. Treats and such. It took Leesky forever to figure out the treats. You're gonna have to talk louder if you're gonna talk. Getting up to go. Try it in a hot dog. Yeah, hot dog. Yeah, hot dog. She said, yeah, I'll eat the hot dog. No? Nope. Uh-oh. Hey, buddy. Come here. Lacey, come here. <laughs> okay, this just got a little harder. Here. Please keep it. Oh, you can't have the trash. Here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. We never think things out like well, it very... it didn't work until Lisky came. Did you hear Skater? Yeah. He said, I don't like her hey, grab, either. Grab him. Come here, Lisky. Come here, Whiskey. Lisky, come here. See, he can't really eat the hot dog either. Come here. Come here. Want a piece of cheese? Want a piece of cheese? Come here. Leesky, come here. You're gonna have to grab him. Come here. You're gonna have to grab him by the collar. Come here, Leesky. Look, Leesky. Leesky. Hey. Look.
grabbed it out of my hand. If you give me the whole package, I'll eat it. Okay, you gotta eat this one. Cora can't have it. That's a pretty big one. It's a lot bigger. I'm gonna break it in half. And try to stick it in a hot dog. Mm. Nope. Now you need to know. Eat some of it. Both sides? Yep. Both pieces? Check her belly because yesterday I had to pull a few ticks off of her. Look at these. Since you don't have no new ones today, I don't see any. She don't have no new ones today. She okay? She okay? Yesterday she was getting attacked by the ticks there. She had two or three on her eyes that I had to pull off. On her, on her eyes today. They're kind of camo on her darker. Uh, face, I'd have to feel. I can't. I don't see any. All right. All right. Let's go move on to Mo. I figured we could find him right here. You want a treat? He says, "Uh, what are you up to now? This looks suspicious." You want a treat, Mom? Hot dogs. Yeah, I'm trying to open this. Oh. Let's see here, buddy. You like hot dogs? He says, this ain't normal. You know something's up. Don't get in too much of a hurry. You old sloth. He's like a sloth. No. You've been on duty all night. Oh, I know. No. Peter, come on. All right, he ate it. Let's just see if he'll eat the tablet. So it looks okay, smells okay. He said, nope, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. He said, okay, I'll try it again. I think it's just a funny, he ate it. Gone? It's gone. I think he likes some cheese, Dad. You want some cheese? I don't know where the cats are, we gotta do the cats. But I bet I know where they're at. They're all napping. They're up chasing rabbits all night. Yep, they've been they've been bringing rabbits to the door. Showing us their prizes. These are uh all organic hot dogs, by the way, Mo. If you care. Good boy. He's a good boy. All right, so we got all the dogs done. Um, now let's go look at what we use for the goats. Okay, we're back in the shop uh, out of the wind. Hopefully you can hear us now. It's crazy out there. So a lot of people associate parasites with goats. Like if you talk to goat farmers, they're gonna say, oh, the battle with goats is battling parasites. And usually what they're talking about is internal parasites. And you guys know we live here. It's very, very wooded. Um, it's hilly wooded. We got all the wildlife running around and they drop the ticks 
fleas, the, the mites, and the lice, like all of our livestock get that. But the goats, they get ticks just like dogs would, you know. They browse around, they're grazers, browsers, they go around eating the grass and trees. They don't just stay in one spot, so they're always moving. Therefore, they're always finding areas where like a squirrel or a deer dropped a tick and it had babies. And then the goats can easily get infested with ticks. Well, and goats are what they call browsers. So they're not really the grazers. They're going to go browse and hunt in the underbrush. And underbrush always has, you know, your ticks, ticks and mainly ticks. But we also have had issues, of course, with horse flies. Um, that's another type of parasite. Horse flies and there's, there's all kinds of other flies. There's biting flies. There's flies that just land on their face. And ever since we have started using this Redmond with the garlic let me get out of the picture yep. here and just show the product this right here is the the answer and our goats love this salt it's all awesome salt it's all natural from utah right here engineered by nature it's un unrefined so it's all natural it has 60 60 plus trace minerals in it guys and uh you can see right here yep copper zinc manganese all that good stuff is for the goats so we are, we have this five pound bag here that you can get on the website or if you're a bigger operation you can go with this 50 pound bag right here um, this is an awesome product from Redmond and ever since we've been using it we have actually had no problems with ticks the flies are almost gone mm -hmm. but one thing I want to make clear is just because you're using this product it doesn't mean that the ticks and the flies are gonna stay off of your animals what it means is they are not going to bite your animals. Um, yeah. The way it works is on the loose trace mineral, I think it takes about two weeks for just to get into their bloodstream. And once it gets in their bloodstream, it goes to all throughout their body. And then their body starts producing an odor of garlic. And insects hate garlic. Now, they do have the loose trace salt right here with the garlic. But they also have, and I think we still have just, just a little bit left because our goats love it is the actual salt blocks with the garlic as well but it takes about three to four weeks to get into their system now the salt blocks we put those out where we have leesky and cora because dogs cannot have a large amount of garlic um, and with them being younger puppies we don't want them to get a big mouthful of this loose mineral yeah um and with the blocks they're not going to just go bite a whole big right. chunk off and get a toxic amount at that point but this they can they can go get a big old mouthful yeah i don't think they just would, being but... curious as you know younger dogs they may do that so for safety purposes and just all over caution for our uh for our livestock dogs because right. they are worth their weight in gold so one thing you we can do this. is you can top dress your feed like in our feed bunk we can feed them and then top dress this with it and they're still going to get it in their system but another thing is we've been using this for about a year last year on i did notice on our pygmy or pico herd out front none of our goats had the flies landing on them except one goat and we did notice that they were actually biting her but for some reason just that one goat did have some flies that would land on her but they never would bite now the rest of them you didn't even see a fly on them the horse flies were non-existent last year with them um, and then like the ticks we didn't have any ticks on the front herd on this herd over here i didn't notice any ticks so like a lot of times them. people would uh sorry to interrupt you but a lot of times in the videos people will, will see our goats like dancing in the background like just doing this weird stomping stuff and then running off that's where the horse flies would land on them and they when they bite them it hurts them so when they know the horse flies coming and land on them they can hear them or they, they can pester feel them. them it just they it pester just pester them, them all day long but this has drastically but changed kevin and i take a lot of pride we only tell you about the products that we actually have experience with and that make a huge difference on our farm um, and I am so glad we discovered this a year ago. And this is all from the USA. Yeah, right here. So, I think it says it. Um, mined in America since 1958. And if any of you are wondering, this is not just for goats. For all classes of livestock. Yes. See right here on the back. Chickens, horses, sheep, 
I don't know what that is. You can put it on your on your uh, that's for soil, your soil. Yeah. This your, you, this on is crops and stuff. natural. This yeah, is all natural, awesome. so you can use this anywhere. You can so, even eat it. We could eat it out of the bag if we wanted. Yes, it's it's great. I promise you. So if you guys are interested in this, I would encourage you. If you guys live in an area like we do, where we have ticks and fleas, or you have flies, anything that you can do External. to help, anything you can do to help your livestock. This right here is all natural, so it doesn't get any better than that. Um, I wish we could do like an all natural thing for our dogs, but like Brevecto, it has chemicals and stuff in it. But for our livestock, uh, anything that we're going to eat, we want to stay as natural as possible. We want to have them have healthy, happy lives. So keeping all the insects and the parasites and stuff off of them keeps them healthy and happy. And no better way to do it than all natural. So if you guys want to try this, you can now get these five pound bags online. So the shipping is uh, not bad. Um, I think if you spend over $30, you get free, free shipping, shipping as well. Yeah. So I will leave a link down in the description. And if you guys are interested, use our code HHF15 and you can save 15% off and uh, try out this wonderful product. And so, if you guys missed it, we actually visited the Redmen um, company. The, we, we visited the mine yes. where they dig it out of the ground, where they bag it and all that. We got a video, a few videos back. You guys can go check it out. It is a fantastic company and we stand behind Redmond 100%. For sure. So let's go uh, try to give some of this to the Picos. Okay. Let's do it. Hey, Shadow. I've got a prize for you. I've got a prize for you. Do it in the barn. Yeah. It's too windy. Let's go see how the geese are doing. Oh, here comes everybody. Hey geese. Hey Millie Millie. How's it going? Look, it already moved. The wind moved it. Level. All right, let's go get this goes to this mineral. Hey, Walt. Walt. He said hi. Hey, Boris. Hey, chickens. I see a baby hiding. It's a baby. He's hiding. All right, here they come. You better hurry up. Oh! <laughs> Got a little scooper in it. Oh man, you can smell it. You can smell the garlic in it for Here, sure. This is how confident I am that this is a good product. Look. I can eat that. <laughs> now not all minerals you can do that with. Nope. Shadow loves it. So as soon as you open that bag, I could smell the garlic like crazy. Look, they're licking their lips. Look at the. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty She's tasty. Like, uh, pretty tasty mm. stuff, isn't it, Shadow? So I'll put some in here. Yep. I had to get their little. We'll keep one. Um, just garlic over here. Oh. <laughs> and then over here we keep the we keep the Redmond goat mineral but this over here has the garlic in it she's, she's addicted to it well she sucked it up her nose even, when i was pouring it even the little babies love it what did you say about this one that one don't fill that one up i keep the regular uh redmond goat mineral in that okay and then over here we'll keep the garlic okay so what do you think she says she loves it it's so, all good till somebody sucks it up their nose <laughs> so everybody's coming over here to get a little bit of it and they're not going to eat a ton of it at once. They know how much of the salt and the minerals they need. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it yeah, up. Yeah, go ahead and fill it up. This is going to take that whole bag. Yep. And that'll be gone probably within a couple weeks. But a lot of times what you want to do is place your mineral feeders <laughs> close to the watering hole or the mineral blocks, salt blocks. And what they'll do is every time they come to get a drink, they'll take a lick of that and just a little bit a day and it you know it takes a little time like i said to get in their system so if you guys are in an area like we are where the ticks are starting to come on here in the flies april to may time once it starts getting hot the flies the ticks the fleas all that stuff starts yeah. invading your uh, animals and attacking them 
and uh, sucks their blood. So it, you know, it's it's another fight for them on top of them fighting the internal parasites like the worms. Then they have the problem with the ticks and stuff sucking their blood and uh, making them weak and just not feeling good. But we actually um, we take the tick tick disease stuff serious here because we've lost a cat from it. We lost a bear. We didn't lose him from it, but it. it after he got the, I think it was the Rocky Mountain spotted fever from a tick bite, he was never the same. It messed his organs up, messed his kidneys up, and then a couple months later, he actually died from bloat. But he was never the same once he got the tick bite. He never really recovered from that. Mm -mm. Um, Daisy actually had tick fever at She one did get it. I forgot too. about that. So, I know it's kind of controversial about uh, doing the Brevecto because it has had some it has some effects. negative side effects on but some dogs when you've had animals be as sick as what we've witnessed on our actual farm it's worth for us taking the risk and we've never personally had an issue with the brevecto it's right. worked really well for us um you just have to stay on top of it and make sure that you're giving that to them every three months or every one month whatever the case mm -hmm. um, the puppies are one month because the dosage yeah. is a little bit smaller just to be safer <laughs> Uh, adult dogs I think over six month old dogs and puppies you yeah. can actually give them the three month dosage and it does work it works for three months you will not see any ticks biting your dogs or I think they actually do bite them sometimes but they fall right off they don't you'll never see a tick on a dog for for very many hours at all I feel all. like I'm eating a tippy toe yeah, I'll like hold the camera up like that you're cutting my this head. is how much taller I am than Rachel he's not that much no. taller um, but yeah, um, I actually got bit by a tick about five years ago and it gave me that stupid Rocky Mountain spotted fever stuff and I was homesick for a week on the couch. He was deathly Horrible ill. fever. I didn't think I was going to make it. It was, it was really bad. So uh, there's nothing that I know of that will uh, protect us, but I do eat a lot of garlic now. Yeah, so you do. I eat a lot of garlic. I love garlic and stuff like that. So any any natural thing that we can do, because like I said, we're not going to give our goats Brevecto or anything. Anything that we eat or you get milk from, you don't want to use any kind of chemicals. But like the dogs, like Rachel said, sometimes you got to do what you got to do just to protect your livestock and yeah. your uh, inside animals, your pets. But in our case, the dogs are a working dog. But with the thing. Redmond mineral, with the garlic, we can confidently feel, you know. Oh, for sure. I mean, I am very, very happy with that product because it is yeah. natural. There's no it's, chemicals in it. We can eat it like you've seen. Um, I mean, our kids could, I mean, you know, it's a natural product. It's organic. It's from right here in the USA. Um, we've witnessed the company mm -hmm. and how they work. We work very closely with Redmond, and we just love everything about Redmond. We're actually both wearing Redmond shirts. Yeah, we are. This shirt says, give more than you take. And, and that, I love that. That means a lot. That, that um, is truly how Redmond is. It is. Um, so, guys, if you want to try this, be sure to click down the link below. Use HHF15, say 15%. I promise you will not regret it. This is just a step, another step that we take for our goat maintenance. Um, we do a lot of things to help with our goat herd maintenance and goat maintenance care. And this is just an added bonus. Yes. And so, a product that we're You know what this at. reminds me of? <laughs> when I was a kid, I was going uh, bass fishing with my grandpa, open a new pack of lures. But a lot of times those, uh, the plastic soft, like the worms and the lizards and stuff, they impregnate it with garlic because- Really? Yeah, supposedly when a fish bites it, it don't let go. Because that garlic tastes, I guess, certain animals and stuff like it but that's that's exactly what it smells like you you break open one of them old pack of lures when i was a kid and it, it smelled like garlic like crazy i never knew that yeah it, <laughs> but this isn't just garlic flakes in here they actually use like a concentrated garlic oil so whoever eats this whatever kind of a uh, animal whether it be a cow sheep or goat whatever they're going to get quite a bit of uh, garlic in their system but to keep like the Kevin flies said, away um it is going to take a couple weeks to get in their system yep we so, did learn that we didn't yeah. know that but we learned that at the summit that we went we to did. with redmond we did and it does work so yep we are very very excited to be able to bring that product to you and add that into our arsenal of goat care yes <laughs> so be sure to check it out and uh we are wrapped this video up because our chicken tractor over here, like I said, we're getting 40 to 45 mile per hour winds and that chicken tractor is not strapped or anchored down yet. And it's uh, already moved it about 10 feet. So we need to go do that for our geese get. 
Well, crushed. We actually talked about it yesterday, and it kind of slipped our mind. Yeah. And then when I looked out this morning, I thought, oh. Well, we didn't know it was gonna be that windy. That but shifted. Yeah. So we're gonna get so. that done, guys. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, like this video, and uh, leave us guys. a comment. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. So okay. We just thought we were in the video. We, when I come in here to check the eggs, I'm like, ah! Dad gummit. So it is actually eating an egg, this black snake. Dang it. Yep. All right. All right. So you can see who else loves the uh, garlic salt from Redmond. That'll actually get rid of the mites for the chickens. Typically, you're supposed to relocate them like five miles, but but we have copperheads here. You can see how wooded it is, and all these leaves. And these guys eat the venomous snakes. Yes. So. So there you go. There's your warning. Don't come back to the chicken pen. Yep. See you later. Go kill some copperheads if you want to eat something. <laughs> Good job. Yep. Used to Kevin used to make me do all that. All right.